Good morning, friends, and welcome to the Wednesday in the week of Easter. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear sisters and brothers, to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God and one another pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, our God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. A God who gladdened us year by year with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, graciously grant that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit through them to reach eternal joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer. And a man, crippled from birth, was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate every day to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intently at him as did John, and said, Look at us. He paid attention to them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He leaped up, stood and walked around, and went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one 
who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with amazement and astonishment at what had happened to him. The Word of the Lord. Your response is, Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord is our God, throughout the earth his judgments prevail. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and his oath to Isaac. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus. And they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them. But their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them, named Cleophas, said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place in these days? Then he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word, before God and all the people. How our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, was have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described, but him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophet spoke! Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression 
that he was going on further. But they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening, and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us? While he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. My friends, the Gospel of today is the famous journey of two disciples to Emmaus and Jesus meeting them after his resurrection. We know that this passage is considered as also a Eucharistic passage. The first thing that Jesus did after his resurrection is actually to celebrate the Holy Eucharist. The same word that he, Jesus used on the so-called Last Supper is the same words that he uses here. He took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. My friends, the Holy Eucharist is the center of our life. And we are really going through a lot of turmoil in our lives, in the life of the entire globe. And these two disciples were also in turmoil. They, were, they did not know how to make sense of what has been happening you know, to Jesus of Nazareth, whom they were following. They know that he was beaten, he, was, he had to undergo suffering, he had to undergo the crucifixion. And then they hear that he was risen from the dead. They were quite surprised as well as they were confused because they believed in a messianic Lord someone who would come and save them from the hand of the Romans. But they were in confusion. My friends, just like we are in confusion. And we would see that the disciples, as they were walking to Emmaus, they, Jesus was trying to go ahead of them, further. And then they say, stay with us, Lord. Stay with us. My friends, during these days, we need to call the Lord into our fears. We need to ask the Lord to stay with us in our confusion, in our difficulties, in our fears. We need to ask the Lord, stay with us. Just like the Lord stayed with the two disciples, the Lord is going to stay with us. And as we celebrate this Holy Eucharist, my friends, and as you receive the Lord in your hearts, spiritually, know that the Lord is going to stay with you always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands to become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Our God of all Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, wash away from me every day and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Let us pray. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race and be pleased to accomplish in us salvation of mind and body through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the holes of heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them, like the dew so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chance and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, and all the bishops. Remember, also our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. That's very especially we pray for all the intentions that have been placed here. Let's pray for all those who have died due to coronavirus. Bring them and all the departed in the light of your presence. Have mercy on a soul, we pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Saint Joseph, of her spouse, Blessed Apostles, and all the saints are pleased to you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. I praise and glory for you, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, a God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we direct to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in every day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope, the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let's offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. Amen.
Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation through Christ our Lord. Amen. My friends, for a moment in silence, let us receive the Lord spiritually in our hearts. Ask the Lord, stay with us, Lord. Please repeat this throughout the day. Stay with us, Lord. And the Lord is going to stay with you and with your family. Friends, as we are preparing for the Divine Mercy Sunday, a link is actually provided for enabling you to say the Divine divine chaplet as well as a short reflection is given every day through our websites and our email system. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is now ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia.